um, it's hard to turn down. I think when you get it, you get a property um, and you read it and you respond to it um, and pictures start to come to life and music starts to come to life, um, that's when you know, you know, you want to spend two years of your life <laughs> directing it and editing it and getting it out to the world. Um, art, it, it's such a um, all, it, it's all consuming process. So you got to really love the material. Um, and it was great when I read the script and I knew Charlize was attached to play um, Lorraine. I fought hard to get this property. So uh, how was it then working with Charlize? Uh, she seems pretty much up for anything, it seems to me. She's, a, she's an incredible collaborator. Um, she works her ass, ass off. Um, there aren't many actors in the world that could do what she did in Atomic Blonde. I mean, I, I work in my day job as a stunt coordinator and as a second unit director, training actors and getting them ready for action sequences. And um, she's as good as it gets. Uh, for you, what was the toughest scene to pull off? Was there a particular challenge that you really felt sort of demanded you to, to meet the demanders? Yeah, I think there's a technical achievement um, that we achieved with the stairwell fight and getting that amount of choreography with the real actors um, into those long takes that feels like one seamless take. Um, I think that that's a, a real technical achievement that I'm proud of, um, but also it works well for the narrative and where we are with Lorraine at that point in the movie and just staying with her and staying with the sort of emotional context of that scene and not cutting away and not giving the audience a break, it, it's really effective. So I'm proud of that. It's hard to pick one, um, and a lot of the, the soundtrack was in my mind from the beginning I read the script. They started to infuse it into the script before we even started shooting. We played the, we played the soundtrack during shooting. We played songs during um, shooting to keep everybody in the mood that this was going to be an integral part of the piece. I, I really like um, the Flock of Seagulls piece during the middle of the fight sequence and how it comes on the radio as sort of like a source and then it turns into score and then it gets muffled as they go underwater and um, that one just makes me giggle every time in a good way <laughs> so yeah um, atomic blonde is the story of uh lorraine broughton an mi6 agent who's in a bit of an existential crisis um, she's surrounded in a world of lies and she's been tasked with the mission to go to berlin and retrieve these documents that basically expose everybody on both sides of the wall. So, uh, final question, what are you hoping the audience will take away from the film? You know, I'm hoping that the audience is just, they enjoy the ride, they enjoy the action, they enjoy the world building, and the sexy sort of uh, wish fulfillment of the 80s and this nostalgic um, adventure that Lorraine is on. But I hope that they, take away sort of like a little bit of what it's like to be a spy and um, how difficult and how tragic their lives can be with no, inti no, in no intimacy and no one caring for them and like living a life of deception and like how empty that is at the end of the day.